Okay, so now I'm excited because I found the perfect slime for a reactivation video. Um, so this is one of the extras I was given in one of my orders from Dream Glow. She's really, really sweet and almost always sends an extra slime. Um, even one time when I only got like three, I think she still sent an extra slime. It's awesome. Anyway, it's beautiful. Look at that. And it's got little jelly cubes in it. Ugh, it's just so pretty. Okay, but it's also really deactivated. I don't know if you can see, but... Oh, wait, you can't see. What am I doing? The bubbles move. Anyways, let me show you. So you can see this. Yeah, so it's definitely deactivated. Okay. So what I'm going to do is open that and spray the inside of the lid. And then I'm going to pull that off of there with my finger and just barely kind of, you know. All right, so now I am going to move this stuff back a bit. Okay, and I'm gonna spray the counter where I'm gonna pour it. Oh, and I'm also gonna spray the hand, the fingers that are gonna touch it. Let's just do both. I'll just do both hands, just in case. Okay, so now I am going to pour the slime onto the counter. And you see how fast it goes? It's because it's pretty deactivated. Sometimes I'll give an extra little spray into there. This is some pretty strong activator. I said it in the other video that I made. It's like double the strength. I don't recommend people do that unless they have been doing it for a while, but you know. All right, there we go. So I sprayed my finger and now I'm just kind of scraping the glitters and stuff off the bottom and off the sides. This one isn't complete liquid, but it's still pretty sticky. All right. Let me get it in down there. Maybe I can show you an example of how sticky it is. You don't have to worry about getting all the stuff out of the bottom of the container. It'll be really easy once the slime is activated. Let's see if I have a finger that can get stuck. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, I guess my method works pretty well. It's already starting to be not as sticky. Because I literally sprayed it onto the counter and now it's sitting in a pool of the activator. <laughs> And so I'm just gonna like fold it into it. Look at that, it's so pretty. You know, I have two extras here. I bet the other one will be more deactivated. So until you know how sticky it still is, try to do it just, you know, one finger at a time maybe. Or if you're gonna use more than one, spray your hand again. It's okay to get it over deactivated. I know I keep saying that, but as long as you're not putting the borax directly onto the slime, I think you'll be all right. Just let it sit for a while in its container and it should be fine. And if you wanna play with it that now when you've got it over activated, just massage it a bunch and it'll usually loosen up. See, this one's definitely overactivated now. You can see all the little stretchy fiber things. But that's okay. Because if I pull it out tomorrow, it'll be perfect. All right. I hope I didn't uh, I hope I didn't inflate it cuz I don't want to. So now I'm going to give a little spritz inside there and on the lid. And then I put it back in. Oh, there's an air bubble down there. Did I inflate it? Oh, no, I don't think I did. So I'm shaking the lid off so it doesn't have too much extra activator on it. But look at that. Perfect. Okay, so I will show this one really quick. Right down the counter. Spray the counter. Oh yeah, you can see, oh, if you can see the bubble moving, that usually means it's pretty deactivated. Okay, cool. 
So, got to be careful taking the lid off. You don't want to make a mess. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, I've got slime stuck to the top of my other finger. Come on, little string. Break. Okay, I'm just going to put it over there anyway. It's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, so that's the string of slime. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why it looks like there's a hair. It's not though. Okay. So now like if I touch this, it's going to stick to me. See? So now I'm just going to go put my finger in the activator and kind of push it off back into the slime. Give it a little spritz and then get activator on my finger and just kind of go through there and pull it off. You might need more sprays if you don't have really strong activator. There we go. But I have really strong activator. There we go. All right, y'all good. This one's really sticky. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm pulling the outsides in. It's still sticking to me because it's really sticky. However, I have a lot of activator on the counter. So if I'm patient and just use one finger, hmm. I'm not very patient though, so And give it a couple big sprays. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look, it's sticking to the counter. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yep, that's nice. Here, I'm gonna spray it more and overactivate it a little so I can show. Just rub it in. Like you can feel it getting stiff. I love overactivated slimes. Maybe that makes me weird. Yep, definitely overactivated, but that's fine. It'll be perfect tomorrow. That's the move I like to do when it's super activated. Just kind of massage it around. Awesome. I'm glad I finally found a good example to show. Okay, let's see. Oh, we have this in the lid still. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> that's still sticky. So I put it in there, fold it into it. All good. Oh, yeah, that part made it really sticky again. Look at that. Man, it's such a pretty slime. Can you believe that this one was an extra, a freebie? Crazy, huh? That's like pilot freebies. You see how pretty that one is? Sarah and Megan are both really good at giving sparkly freebies. There we go. There's another super long video of me rambling and I want to say reactivating slimes, but we both know that I'm just playing with my slimes. Because I love my slimes. It helps that they're from really great companies too. 
All right, are we gonna get, be able to get the lid back on this one? I don't know. Let's see. I didn't spray it. Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna end up going stiff on the edges there because it is a little overfilled. So when it does that and you can see it going around the outside, you should probably grab a little bit to put in a smaller container. Which is what I am going to do with this. There we go.